So as part of the diploma in AI and machine learning in collaboration with the University of Hyderabad, in semester one, one of our first subjects is called Essentials of AI. So in this course, we will first focus on Python programming. So again, we will start Python programming from scratch because we understand that some students may not know programming at all or some students may not know Python specifically. So we will not make any assumptions about your knowledge of Python itself. Right? So, or, or knowledge of any programming language for that matter. So we'll start everything from scratch. Right? And when we try to introduce a concept or introduce an idea or introduce a technique in programming, we'll try to do it using real world examples. And as, as you see in our name, we try to do everything in an applied fashion. We want to teach you how a concept that you learn in programming, like for example, if you learn loops, how is it actually used in the real world? How do you apply it in the real world? Right? So as part of Python programming, we will start from what is a variable, what is a keyword, the very basics, assuming no programming background. And we will study all the way up to the foundations and basics of object oriented programming. I'll, I'll also discuss some slightly advanced concepts that we will cover as part of this course itself. And again, remember that in this, in this Python programming section of Essentials of AI, we will write tons of code. We will try and write at least 50 programs from scratch so that you get comfortable with programming and especially programming that is very important in the context of machine learning and AI, right? So next, we will also touch upon the basics of databases. What are databases? We will use open source databases like MySQL and SQLite as examples. And we will take a real world data set. We will take actual data set at real companies, show you how the data set or how the data is organized in a database and how we can use SQL itself to actually extract data or to pre-process some data or extract some information that we want from this data. Again, we'll try to do as usual, we'll try to explain you the basic concepts of databases and specifically SQL with a lot of real world examples. We will start with a real world data set, which is stored in a, in a, in a typical relational database. And we will ask problems, we'll ask real world questions. And to tackle those questions, we will introduce concepts and ideas in SQL itself, right? Again, we will cover ex SQL extensively where we will start with basic select queries. We will go all the way up to advanced SQL queries like nested joins and things like that because SQL is very, very important for data science, machine learning and AI, right? So we'll, we'll, we'll also write uh, at least 20 to 30 good advanced SQL, uh, SQL queries for slightly advanced problems or advanced tasks which, which require good enough or in-depth knowledge of SQL itself. Cool. The next thing that we will cover is we will we will understand the basics of coordinate geometry and linear algebra specifically in the context of machine learning and AI. Again, we will not be able to cover all of linear algebra. We will cover only some aspects of linear algebra in this course. We will specifically cover concepts like equations of line, planes, spheres, hyperplanes, etc. Again, we will try to we'll try to cover all the concepts in linear algebra in the context of coordinate geometry. There'll be other, there'll be other concepts in linear algebra like principal component analysis, like matrix factorization, etc. that we will cover in other courses. So this will be like introduction to coordinate geometry and linear algebra specifically for machine learning and AI. Again, even in this, we will start with real world examples. We will try to do it in a very applied, trying to solve a real world fashion and we will write tons of code because you would have gotten comfortable with writing Python code with at least 50 programs that we will write as part of this course. So we will also implement some concepts in linear algebra and coordinate geometry using Python code from scratch. Again, implementing some of these mathematical concepts from scratch will give you a lot of comfort with respect to the depth of understanding. You'll also become very comfortable with coding itself. Your fear of coding will go away and you'll also get comfortable with the mathematics because you're translating it into code now. Right? That's very, very important, especially for linear algebra and coordinate geometry. Similarly, we'll, we'll learn the basics of calculus. We will recap some of the calculus that you may have learned in your high school days. Some calculus that you learned probably in your undergraduate days also. We will do both univa or single variable calculus and also multivariate calculus. We'll learn basics, we'll learn simple things like basic gradient descent algorithm. And we'll also implement some of that in code, right? Look at this. Throughout this whole program, we will write tons of code, we will learn tons of beautiful mathematics, all in the context of real world examples. Okay, let's not forget that fundamental core philosophy that we want to teach you applying the concepts to real world problems, right? So we will learn calculus in the context of machine learning and AI. Of course, we will not be able to cover everything needed, 
we will cover whatever is needed in this first course. There will be other concepts that we will surely cover in the other courses as we progress in this whole program itself. Okay, cool. Again, in this whole essentials of AI, there are some core computer science concepts that we will also touch upon. We will understand the basics of space and time complexity. How do you compute time and space complexity if you have recursive functions? Right? We will learn some of those basics. Similarly, we will learn some core data structures which are very, very relevant in the context of machine learning and AI. For example, we will learn hash tables, also called as dictionaries in Python. We will learn lists, sets, binary trees, graphs, whatever is needed in the context of machine learning and AI, we will cover all of those basic data structures. Whenever we learn any concept in data structures and algorithms, we will also learn their time and space complexity. This will make you a better programmer at the end of the day. And it's, it's it, again, we will not be able to cover whole of data structures and algorithms. We will cover only those that are most relevant in the context of machine learning and AI. Similarly, we will also cover basic algorithmic strategies like divide and conquer and dynamic programming. And we'll try to cover them in the context of solving mathematical problems in machine learning and AI itself. Okay, cool. Again, at the very end of this course, we will also touch upon basics of multi-core and multi-threaded programming. Because a lot of machine learning requires a lot of numerical computation. It could take hours to run a machine learning algorithm. So if you have multiple cores on your computer or multiple threads, how do you leverage all of them? Again, we'll try to do this in the context of numerical programming, specifically for machine learning and AI itself. Again, as part of this essentials of AI course itself, we will learn whatever libraries are needed in the context. For example, when we write some numerical code, when we, when we manipulate some matrices, vectors, etc., we will use NumPy. Right? Wherever we need some functionality of SciPy, we will introduce SciPy and use those functions. Similarly, if you have to load data from, from, from a file, we will use Pandas. Right? So we will introduce multiple libraries throughout this program in the context of the problem we are solving and in the context of techniques that we are learning. Right? For example, when we learn linear algebra, we will learn a lot of NumPy. Right? When we write some simple optimization based or calculus based programs, we will use a lot of SciPy. Right? Similarly, when we have to fetch data from disk, we will use Pandas. So these are not just the only three libraries that we will cover. We will cover all the relevant libraries throughout this program. In this course itself, we will cover mostly these three libraries and any other library that we need in, to solve a real world problem in that context.